We're continuing walking through Rooted Together as a church, and this week we're learning how God speaks. And why is it that if you talk to God, you're spiritual, but if you were to hear from God, people might think you're crazy, right? Uh, but God speaks, and he speaks in all kinds of different ways. We talked about it last weekend. We'll learn about it this week as we walk through uh, the book, the Rooted book, together. Hopefully everybody has a book now. But God still speaks, and he wants to speak to you. In fact, prayer itself is not just about us talking to God. But it's about us talking and, and listening. Prayer is communication with God. And so God speaks in all kinds of ways. And in the passage that we're going to look at today, we're in Psalm 19. And we're going to look at just the first few verses there. But the Bible teaches that God speaks through nature. Have you ever experienced that? Man, I have. Uh, some of the best moments of my life, some of the times when I have felt closest to God have been in nature, whether I was, I, I hunt, so whether I was in a deer stand with the snow lightly falling just in silence out in the woods, or if I was hiking on a mountain, or if I was on a beach somewhere or out in the ocean, God speaks through, through nature. I remember um, preaching one time, and sometimes when I'm speaking, I'll just say something, and then later on, I'm like, no, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. But um, I talked about this passage of Scripture, and I said, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God, and we're all looking at our cell phones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, God is speaking all the time all around us, if we'll just pay attention. Follow along with me here, Psalm 19, verses 1 through 4. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech, and night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. And they use no words. No sound is heard from them. And yet, their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. Creation, nature, proclaims the glory of of, of God. And I think in modern time, we've lost our sense of wonder, of just pausing, of just being amazed at the reality of life. So maybe today, as you think about God, spend time with him, pray, maybe you want to go for a walk. Maybe you just want to watch the setting sun tonight. And I want to encourage you to allow his creation to speak to you of who he is and step into the wonder of it all, that God created you, that you're part of all this, and he wants a relationship with you. And in all of that, he is speaking if you and I will just take time to listen. Let me pray for you. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom of your voice. Help us to hear you and see you. May we, like little children, still be people of awe and wonder at the world and creation around us because you speak through these things. Teach us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen.